Welcome to another episode of Boomer vs. Zoomer. We are joined again. We are joined here again by Avon. Okay. Avani on yeah, uh, Twitch and most social media platforms. What? The Zoomer on the podcast. I could feel the... like your decrepit age as you were just like. Zoom what do you mean? Podcast. I'm the one who does not match my age the most. I might as well be joined by the Crypt Keeper, if anyone knows what that is. Does what is know? that? Yeah. You know what the, the Crypt Keeper yeah, is, Yeah, right? the skeleton looking. He's got like balding hair. He's like, like an animatronic yeah. skeleton that like had his own TV show where he would like rise from his his casket and be like, <laughs> and then he thing? would like tell like scary stories or like, like he would. Goosebumps. Yeah, it was kind of like Goosebumps. But like they would be a little more violent or I'm scary. I'm too zoomer yeah. for this. I don't know. No, you're you're older than me, so I would think you qualify. by three days. Still older than me. Still still counts. Still counts. You were in this world for three whole fucking days before me. I doesn't feel like it. Because you're shorter, so like time dilates differently. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say yeah, probably perceive time differently. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wait, you don't remember the Crypt Keeper? No. At all? Oh, maybe no. it's a it's a Canadian thing. I think <laughs> it's not a Canadian. It's probably no, no. Sorry, it's like it's Canadian of her for, yeah, to not know oh. is what I mean to say. Right. But uh, I remember uh, as like a wee lad watching sorry. it on TV. Yeah, that guy. You don't recognize him. Uh, he looks. I can't tell Handsome. if I'm just like placeboing. Like, yeah, he looks familiar. That's you in like two years. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> You're gonna get, be there before me. I'm already there, dude. I'm decaying rapidly behind, uh, in front of the camera as we speak. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I was actually fairly traumatized by that show. I remember because they would do like an episode, and each episode's like three short horror stories, and one of them was like the blob, but it was like a blob creature that lived in a swamp. So these like teenagers are out on like a raft and they're on the lake when they notice that like there's this like black goo thing like floating in the lake and they're trying to escape it and then it just like latches onto them as they try to like swim away or hide or something and just like swallows them whole. Like I was like, that shit scared the fuck. Is this a movie or is it like a oh, it's like a it's a it's a TV show, it's like a short story, and I think each like short story is like ten minutes probably. Oh, okay. So uh yeah, I remember it freaked me the fuck out because like there's like two of these teenagers left on this raft. Mm -hmm. And the raft is basically just like a bunch of logs that are tied together. And they try to sleep it off. They sleep overnight. And the next morning, there's like a teenager's face who's like, he's like oh, lying yeah. on the raft. But apparently the, the blob monster or some shit, like went through the crevices of the raft and grabbed this girl by the face and like swallowed her through the fucking, through the, through the boards. And that freaked me the fuck out. So yeah. Wait, what? This couldn't have been a kid's thing. Uh, I don't think it was technically a kid's thing. Okay. Or if it was, it was really fucked up. Because, like, the yeah. other short story I can remember is, like, there is, like, a like a Native American, uh, like, uh, shop that's owned by, like, two Native American people. And mm -hmm. then they get murdered by some, like, biker gang. So, like, the, the Indian – or the Native American statue that was, like, standing out front, like, animates and hunts down and kills these bikers. So – I don't. Yeah, Rightfully that doesn't so. track. That doesn't track as like a kid show to me. I would say no, probably not. But uh, yeah, that show was fairly traumatic. Mm -hmm. Jeez, and uh, really fucked me up as a kid. Speaking of things that fucked us up as kids, did you watch anything that like traumatized you or like stuck with you? There's this one show called Reboot, and it's a Canadian show. Reboot. And, yeah, it looks scary. Like the characters in it are fucking terrifying for a children's show. Um, there was like a like a lady, like a jester looking lady on there. She looks scary as fuck. Um, but I would say most Wait, I know this show. Wait, you guys had This reboot? is like an animatronic show? Is it animated? Kind of. Or not animated. Or animatronic. Animated, yeah. You I've seen it? the show. Oh, yeah, it's scary as whoa, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop trying to gatekeep reboot, okay, bro? <laughs> Reboot's awesome. Wait. It's awesome. This was the show that freaked you out. Yeah, I watched it when I had nothing else to watch, like absolutely nothing. Okay, I found the picture of the girl, but they like made her really hot in the what? drawing. <laughs> like it's it's like fan art. So okay. like she's like really sexy here. So like well, I, it would be that maybe like Are You Afraid of the Dark and like some. Oh, goosebumps. Are You Afraid of the? D yeah. I remember. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a particular Are You Afraid of the Dark episode? I don't remember shit. If you say something, it might provoke, like, but I don't, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Oh, uh, like, yeah. Goosebumps, like, it was, like, the fucking puppets. Oh, yeah, the fuck yeah. the puppets. Oh, the God. The mask episode. Yeah. 
Which one was that one? The one where uh, on Goosebumps, where the kids like wearing the mask and can't take it off. Oh, that oh, one was fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that one was scary. Um, and Freddy Krueger was scary. Oh, Freddy Krueger. I mean, that's just yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Um, I remember actually reading Goosebumps. I don't know if you mm -hmm. did. You guys have the books too? Yeah. Yeah, I had some books. You read? I read. Books? All the time. Oh, shit. Okay. I think they had one of the, uh, there was like a trend where you could like choose your own yes. ending. Those are my favorite. Oh, like, yeah. You have to go to page this and that. Yeah. Those are my fucking favorite. Yeah. And like the, the books are always like super neon glowy or yeah. some shit for some reason. Those are the best. Yeah. Oh, man. I love those. God, I missed like loving reading. Reading. Yeah. 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 Those are good times. Like for some reason, I just very remember very vividly, like uh, just flipping the pages of a book and like just it, just the feel of it when you're reading it, sitting on the couch or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you guys read Animorphs. Oh fuck yeah! But I uh, never finished it, and then I, I looked it up later, and it's like <laughs> fucking depressing. It's dark. It's really depressing. It's how dark, it ends. but like ever, I loved like you would have the 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 animal on the front, or like them turning into the animal. And then it would be a cutout where the animal is, and then you open it. Like, that first one is the gecko. Right. Then you open it, and it's like the gecko in the locker. Mm -hmm. And then it, on the bottom right of the page, like if the you, flip, like, yeah. you flip them, they did a little animation. God. Ugh. Do you think people are excited, like, kids are excited to read, like, fantasy series or, like, young, like, adult fiction? Or, like, what is, the, what is it called, the genre? Like, young children? adult. Is it young, young adult? adult? Yeah. Yeah. Is Harry Potter, like, the equivalent of that, like... You YA, like ah, it's like on the cusp of it's it. On the cusp. I okay, because I think like I think of like Hunger Games, Maze as Runner, and like Maze Runner. Yeah. But I think Harry Potter is like a Hunger little Games. bit younger than that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, I know if I would categorize it as. I would just do fantasy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think kids read as much nowadays. Mm -mm. Like they read shit on the internet. I guess. Yeah, it's just TikTok now, right? TikTok yeah. has replaced everything. YouTube. Yeah. Stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if like there's. I mean. I mean, probably like fan fiction is still a thing, though, right? Like that. Oh yeah. Like, I feel like popular. that will always exist. Yeah. Do you ever read any fan fiction? Uh, not really. Mm. I think the most I would do is try to read, like, I, when I like Sword Art Online, I try to read like ahead to know what happens, but like that's like not really. That's not. That's fan not fan fiction. fiction. That's just. Yeah. You're just that's a that's the most that I ever went in terms of like reading about like a show or oh. like, whatever. Mm. I read some fan fiction in my day. Yeah. But I realized like? it was a very dark place. Because <laughs> I was, okay, so, I mean, this is embarrassing to admit now, but, like, I, I uh, was into manga, like, really young, uh, like, elementary to middle school. And uh, being the young romantic that I was, I was super into this one series called Love Hina. Oh, which my is, God, I watched mm, that. Yeah, don't watch it. The anime is <laughs> far worse <laughs> than, the mo than the source material. But upon reading, I've read the source material, uh, the source material again, like recently, and mm -hmm. it's not good. It, it does not age well. Mm. But I think it was like one of the first like popular harem series. Some fucking weeb is gonna correct me on that shit. But um, it's like the first harem series that I was aware of. And when the series was over, I was like, oh my god, but I still like love these characters, and I would not want to read more about it. So I would like like search this shit up on the internet and find. Fan fiction, but then in my head, I didn't really think of it as like, oh, some random other fan wrote this. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh my god, there's more stuff out there. Same. Right. I did think like I did come across fan, fic bef fan fiction before and thought it was like part of the original series. Or yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, I read it and I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, like, it, it was seemed odd, and I was like, this isn't right. The fan fiction I read was like the main character and the main girl having like a one night stand and then her getting pregnant, and that all happened in like four pages, and I was like. What the fuck? I, I was in middle school, by the way, so I'm like, this is like, oh god, this is not like the the comedy romance hijinks that I. This is too fucking real, dude. What the fuck is this? So, that was like the last time I engaged with a fan fiction. But also, sorry, gonna expose my brother here. My brother had CDs. Mm -hmm. He burned CDs with um <clears throat> questionable adult material. Uh, it might rhyme with schmentai. <laughs> and um yeah i found these cds because like i you know fucking little brother just like going through your brother's shit and like whatever and i saw what i thought were like folders full of comics <laughs> and i was like oh my god this is great and uh, i love comics i love manga i opened one up and it's like the characters from the series called ah my goddess oh why does that sound familiar which is like such a like a pretty wholesome like 
fantasy oh. series about like a goddess like becoming this dude's girlfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um No, they get straight to fucking. The goddess is like boning the dude's friend. And I was just like, "Oh, oh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is going on?" And it, like I was so confused because I think I was like 10 when I found this shit. And I was still like coming to terms with like puberty and like understanding what like sex and shit like that is. So that was an awakening. Mm -hmm. But I was also confused because I didn't realize that was a fan work. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was like part of the real thing. Mm -hmm. So that like scarred me, but like made me also like morbidly curious. Like, so like, so when does that like happen? So, cause I'm like reading the <laughs> actual thing and I'm like, dude, they're not fucking yet. Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> what, what did I read? Was that like a fucking fever dream? But yeah. That was good. Wait, so it, was, it wasn't like a video. It was no, like it was picture. it was it was pages. Oh, okay. Like, I, like a drawings. Oh yeah. my god. So. Okay, I was. About to I <laughs> just, I just things like some things. I don't know if I need to know, but I guess you know it's like. I don't know. I mean, I feel like people, most people like look like fall into this shit in like a kind of awkward way, right? Oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like you accidentally stumble upon it. It doesn't. It's not usual. Or you search it up. I mean, I've heard of people saying like. Um, the first thing they do, is they look up like sex.com or like boobs mm -hmm. and stuff. I'm guilty you know? of that. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it was like hotgirls.com or something. <laughs> something like that. Sexywomen.com. And that was when my brother taught me, this is how you delete internet history, Peter. Like this is going to be very <laughs> invaluable to you. you go through all No, he it. didn't see me go through it. He just went on the computer, yeah. typed some shit in, and instantly it pops up in like, you know, past searches. Yeah. And he's like, what fucking dumbass other than my little kid brother <laughs> would look up like hotbitches.com or some shit. So, yeah. I mean, I feel like for guys, the story is like pretty similar. You yeah. Know, right. Yeah. But, I, you know, you don't have to speak on this, but I was I'm curious, like how like women kind of just like fall into it. it kind of sounds like I'm talking about drugs, but like <laughs> fall into it. Oh, good. It's all a gateway. I right? honestly can't remember. Like, I don't remember when was the first time I saw, like, a site or something like that. Of the mm -hmm. sort. I have, like, there's definitely, I've seen it at some point. Who's your first crush? Like, romantic, whether it was, like, fictional character, celebrity, real life person. Do you remember? I, I only remember having, okay, early days as crushes on people at school, like, kids at school. Mm -hmm. And then, um,. Like maybe at most like some like Asian actor that I liked watching. Which through. Asian actor? His name was like Raymond Lamb back then. He Raymond like, Lamb. Yeah. What was don't he look in? Him up. No, he's I'm looking him boy. up. He's I'm a, he's, a <laughs> he's like a he's like a he was in a lot of like Chinese dramas and stuff. But I don't think I don't even know if it was to that degree. I think I liked people in school more. Like actual people that I knew and stuff or Whatever. What are you? Look I'm looking at. It. I'm like, I get it. He's not like a pretty boy. No, He's more it like handsome. It was. It was years ago though. Mm. Like so. Like he also. I mean, he was just in like dramas and stuff. And then. I don't think anyone other than I remember when I watched Descendants of the Sun. I really liked Song Joong Ki, and then like one other K drama guy, and then. Um, I think that's about it. I don't know. I I I'm I am not the type to really have hard crushes or like crushes on celebrities actually. Okay, I'm actually the same way. Yeah. Like I don't really crush on celebrities very often. Like the idea of putting like a poster of a celebrity on my wall was like always kind of weird to me. I had girls mm. on my walls more than guys. Any show that I watch, I was more attracted to the girls than the guys. Typically like Vampire Diaries, I liked all the girls gossip girl. I liked all the girls a lot more. And then, but in real life, like I liked, like the guys that I had a crush on, I would like, like a lot if I did okay. more than like any type of celebrity or whatever. Well, who's your first crush, Wex? I don't know if it was first, but the first that I can remember was uh, Carla Gugino from Spy Kids, the mom. Oh, the mom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. dude. Yeah. Wait, how old were you when you had this crush? Well, let's see. I would probably be, what, like 10? Around 10? Because the movie came out in 2001. 
I respect that. Yeah. I respect the fuck out of that answer. To That's the one that I can remember. You know, like there were probably other ones that I was just like, oh, cool. Ooh. But at that point, I remember that one. I was like, <laughs> Wait. I think I watched it like five times. In the Yo, I, I fucking love Spy Kids, but I liked it just because I thought it was cool. Oh, no, it was movie. great. And the fucking little like pills or whatever oh, that my. they would migrate. How have we not made those yet? They turn into like a Big Mac meal. Yeah. I remember that shit. What the fuck? I don't yeah, remember Yeah, they would put that. the pill in the microwave and then it would be like, Pfft. and then it would give you like a whole Big Mac meal. Yeah. Dude, that was like some pretty sly advertising if you think about it. Oh, I never really yeah. thought of it as advertising because I just... I never noticed that shit and still, until I started doing this. And I was like, damn. It's kind of fucked yeah. up if you think about it. Like, we're just like <laughs> advertising, like bombarded on us at, at a very young age. <laughs> because I definitely want a fucking McDonald's Big Mac meal after that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was good marketing. Yeah, it was yep. good marketing. Yeah. Who was your crush? Fuck. I'm trying to remember the first like actual like human crush that I had. I think it might have been Liv Tyler mm. from um, I think you've Lord of the Rings. About this. I think I yeah. talked about this. I want to say there was a crush before that, though. But but that's I the one you remember. Recall. It's the same with me. Like, I remember I was a really early bloomer because I was like three or four. This is like the only memory I have from three or four. But I had a, I was, I had a huge crush on this, on this probably like young 20s Korean girl from like church. Mm. Who had a boyfriend, mm -hmm. and then I, I remember distinctly going up to the boyfriend. She's like, "No, <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> I like her." And then they would just like be like, "Ha ha, uh -huh, that's so uh -huh. funny." The fact that you can that remember serious. that because I feel I like every like little boy has that moment where mm -hmm. there's like the older girl mm -hmm. who you're like, "Oh, I have a crush. You're so cute," and oh, all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I actually specifically remember like that scenario, that yeah. person. I don't remember their faces, right? But like, I remember that the situation. From early days, I remember a lot of my friends liking um, Jessica Alba from Fantastic, like Fantastic mm. Four. Oh scene, yeah. Or like uh, Megan Fox from Transformers. Yep. Like, I was a kind of a what's the term where you hate on things because they're popular because you're a piece of shit and no one likes you. Uh, I was one of those dudes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, There's you like Jessica Alba? Ew. Like, why? That I don't even see what's so great. I was that piece of mm. shit. I'm not gonna, in like middle school, high school. I would. I definitely tried to be cool because I wasn't with the popular opinion. Yeah. But that just made me look like a dickhead in retrospect. Yeah. You know. So, like, who? Th what the fuck was I trying to prove, dude? Jessica Alba is hot. Peter, come <laughs> on, get together, man. Like, you don't have to say that like you like her, but you yeah. also don't have to say you don't like her. I mean, you I know? feel like there's some people that were like universal across your friends who like everyone liked or was like yeah and like mm -hmm. i feel like she's one of them yeah yeah except for me because i was that dickhead for you, mm -hmm. you i was that, that dickhead yeah, yeah i was that i was that fucking guy but um yeah i'm glad i grew out of that though i don't like hate on things because they're popular anymore god bless i feel like there's definitely some people who did not grow out of that shit though mm -hmm. i feel like this is so tiring yeah. you know i don't have time for that i don't and well, a lot of things are popular yeah. f because it's like for a reason, right? Like mm -hmm. I don't know. As soon as I like see Yvonne say that, what? I'm just like thinking like this bitch is talking about Starbucks. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, not. I'm not. Any good drinks lately? No. Anything popping? No. What's your usual order? Are you still ordering from that? Um, it's uh, iced matcha latte with extra scoops of matcha, dependent on the size of the drink. So fucking nerdy, dude. Grande, one nerd. extra scoop. Fenty, two extra scoops. I mean, at least you don't, like, collect Starbucks merch, right? No. Okay. But but fans of, like, gifted Starbucks merch, I think, is cool. Like, someone gifted me, like, an exclusive, like, apron that you can only get if you work at, like, X or if you're of a certain, like, uh, Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Sick. Wait. Okay, to be fair, though, I have seen... Why does... Okay. All merch in America for brands sucks yeah. ass. If you go to any branch of said brand outside of the U.S., they have way cooler shit. In what, like in what case do you mean? For, uh, like Starbucks. just Starbucks, for example. Like, like I saw, Korea like, or merch. Japan yeah. has like, um, or Hong Kong has like cool ass, pretty ass Starbucks shit. Like cherry blossom stuff or like. Just fucking boring, man. It's true. Pretty designed things. I just remember seeing like a Starbucks cup from Detroit and I was like, who the fuck would want? I'm sorry. <laughs> who the fuck would want a Starbucks cup from Detroit? <laughs> who even wants anything? What's good in from Detroit other than Detroit style pizza? Sorry, Detroit. For you watch hockey, me. there's Detroit Red Wings. Okay. Well, I think that's the only thing keeping that entire city going, probably. Yeah. Do they have any other sports teams? I don't uh, know. Lions? Oh, okay. So, 
<clears throat> the Red Wings are good, though, right? Probably. They're not in the playoffs. Okay. Uh, what other – do they have a baseball team? They have the the Lions – or no, the Lions. Sorry, Tigers. Oh, my. They have the Lions, Lions the, Tigers, and the Tigers, and the Red Wings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do they have a soccer team? No. Do play, most places have a Do they a have a basketball team? team? Yeah, uh. yeah, the Pistons. Detroit Pistons. When is the last time that city has won anything? <laughs> That's a great question. Okay. I'm sorry to no shit on you, Detroit. To I'm sorry. My no. D Town. Yeah. Did Detroit um, ever win a When's Stanley the last game? time? They might have. I think the it's Red Wings Detroit. were their best team. It's, yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like Red Wings Won were not that sport. bad throughout the no. years, but they would like dip. Like it, it, it kind of. Yep. Championship. But going back to the merch thing, like I agree that I think from the source, it, it's funny if you find it like either collabs or like other places that kind of use their intellectual property are usually better. So like for me personally, when I go to Disney, I like go to the the stores and I really don't find anything I like, but then I'll go online. And it's like, oh, we did a collab with Disney. I'm like, oh, this is cool as hell. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's true. I yeah, at least in America, I kind yeah. of get it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I saw the merch that was available in like Disneyland and shit, and I was like, that shit's like it wasn't for me. It's because some whatever. things are like so on the nose that like yeah. it's like that's exactly what it is. It's like this. tacky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like for example, uh, Toast, disguised Toast, went to. Uh, Disneyland Japan and got this like exclusive Disneyland Japan only Baymax button up. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's just like a white button up with like Baymax printed over it. It's like looks really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just like, you see like shit like that. They get mm -hmm. it. Yeah, they fucking yep. get what looks good. Yeah. Okay. It, it's true. Japan merch was like another thing. It's just okay. better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. It, it really is just like no, it's true. thing thing comma Japan. <laughs> you know, it's just better. Yeah. It's kind of that fucking meme. Also, by the way. The last time Detroit won anything was in 19, 1997. The Detroit Red Wings won the Stanley yeah. Cup. Oh, yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. huh. So, 97 was only 10 years ago. So, um, what? 10 years ago? 2007? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, 19, nine, no, 90, like 90, 97. 97 was no, 97 10 years was 10 years ago. My brother in Christ. Ni it's almost 30 years 97 ago. 97 was 10. Look at me. 97 was 10 years ago. Listen, Bro when, old I, and when I think about the fact that the year 2000 yes. was 23 years ago, I know. Is that not the most depressing shit ever? Yeah. Everything, like, once I started, like, just, like, truly being aware of myself, I would always be like, okay, from 99 to, like, now is, like, 10 years apart. But now that we're in, like, the 2020s, it's like, oh, shit. It's like, we're getting to 30. Yeah. Dude, 2025. Like, I don't like to bisect centuries and shit all the time but like yeah. it cr is crazy to me that we are almost halfway to the halfway point of 2100 Ugh. does that make sense i can't talk about this yeah Ugh. it's fucked man it Ugh. is crazy yeah i just will never see the year 3000 that is true we will be yeah we will be dead long before we're then. Dead. yeah we're gonna be more than dirt Oh, Fuck. I want to hear the story of why, how you hated your fiance when you first. Oh met. yes, oh, God, how we got into this? How we were talking about before the podcast was rolling about like uh, what was it or Ix? other things? Yeah, we we're talking about like X and yeah. the um, I had brought up. Oh, I actually like w one of my X was like when. Oh, like a girl takes my hat, and then you guys were talking about. Oh, it means she had a crush on you and all this and. I was, I, the first time I met my fiance, this is now fiance, because I got engaged during my break. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I hated her. Uh, so basically. <laughs> yeah. This is, this what is a transition, how, like, the man. start. No, nah, basically, okay, so I was working at a YouTube company. I was working over at Fine Brothers. Okay. When I was working at Fine Brothers, and I was like a PA crafty. Basically, for everybody who doesn't know what crafty is, they're the people who set up like the food, the snacks and stuff. And I had a very strict crafty budget. And so everybody who was on set, I had it all planned out. I was like, this, 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 this. One of these days, the rest of the company, so like the post team, and she, was, um, she wasn't a part of the post team, but she worked at the office. They came in one of the shoot days, like they were walked, she was like walking there in slow motion, like with all those people. And I'm like, oh shit, I have not prepped enough for them. They came in and raided my entire 
like crafty. The next day, the director came up. He's like, you really need to step up your crafty, man. We're like missing a lot of chips and whatever. And they're like, you need to step it up or. And so like the next day I was like coming in with like plates of cheese and like, yeah, everybody. And I just remember her. She was at the front of that group coming down. And I was like, I, f I fucking hate her. <laughs> Wait, you specifically hated her because she was in the front of the group? Yeah, she was the ringleader. She was, was like, she? Or maybe him. you just, she was the most like, you noticed her, you know? I noticed her because yeah. she, she was in the front of the group. I don't know. Wait, how that did your opening first conversation go with her then? I mean, I didn't, talk, I, I watched it happen. It wasn't like I tried to stop them. Then how did this change from like I hate yeah, her? Yeah, how she did it become romance? Ruined my well, life. Well, I mean, it started off because she was a coworker. Obviously, um, that's where we met. So after I was done with that, then I came back. Uh, I, I like interned for a little bit, and then I came back on like a one day job, and I was working under her, and I still had that in the back of my head, and I was mm -hmm. just like, oh, just... and then just after a while, you know, I kind of forgot about it because I still kept my job. Right, that was the thing I was worried about. Dope. And then eventually full time, and then we became friends, and then, um, you know, the power went out. What was the out. first date? Well, no, there wasn't a first. Uh, okay, so you guys are just like talking. Damn, y'all are getting my whole life story. Hell yeah! yeah. Basically, dude. one day the power went out at work. Right? She lived like pretty far, like maybe like twenty miles away or whatever. And so she came by my place, and we were like, "Oh, let's chill and whatever. There's nothing to do." Uh, the so we started power watching. Came out, let's chill <laughs> oh, my place. place is so <laughs> far. Hey, the Literally, <laughs> didn't have any. No, I didn't have any feeling. Like she was just a friend. We were both like friends and whatever. Mm -hmm. Then we started watching movies. We watched. <laughs> we watched the Baba Duke. We watched what? Chef. Fuck yeah! Man. We oh, watched okay. oh, Chef, Chef is a banger. Chef is a good I, one. We watched, that yeah. movie is good. <laughs> we watched Elmo in Trashland. I'm sorry, what? The fuck? Like Sesame <laughs> Street. Sesame Street is dope. Yeah. Okay. No, wait, I mean that sounds like a that <laughs> like, sounds like a spin-off. Yeah. Like that doesn't sound like Elmo a real thing. Elmo in Grouchland, my bad. Okay. That sounds yeah. better. It's yeah. A movie. yeah. Trash. Elmo in Trashland? I was like, Grouch what Land the or fuck, Trashland. bro? Anyways, we watched like three or four movies. Um during the fourth movie, like we got tired. She laid down. I laid down. I was on one side of her. And then she turned. I was next to her, mm -hmm. you know, turned. And then, you know what happens after you turn? You, <laughs> That's you smooch. That's what happens after you turn. She kissed you? Yeah, she did. Wow. Damn. She, 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 and you felt, she made nothing? the first move. She made the uh, first at, move. Um, did she, like, implant her feelings me. into you with that kiss? <laughs> you were just she's like, nah, what up? Oh. No, we didn't. No, because it was, we had been friends for, like, two years, mm -hmm. right? Uh-huh. So... We kissed and, you know, kissed a little more and stuff. And then I was like, man, this is. So you had weird. no prep you know for what it. The like, kids you did not days? like, like, did you like no. her? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. It wasn't even like that. It was just like, it was warm and it was just happening, you know. Uh -huh. it, some things just happen. So it just happened. And then we were like kissing for a little while. And then afterwards, I was like, that was kind of weird. I was like. Mm. Oh, like after the fact? You're yeah, like, and then it becomes the whole thing of like, we're friends. It was just oh, your thing. Co oh, yeah, we're yeah, co-workers yeah. and whatever. And then it just kept happening over and over again. It's like yeah. the it's like the fifteenth it, time she's come over. It's like why is the power keep like, going out we, at work? We keep watching fucking Elmo in Grouchland. <laughs> like this Dumb. is it's like Groundhog. We need to stop. Like yeah. we are coworkers. It's like, it's like Wex, this is like the thirteenth <laughs> time I've been here this week. I'm like, what? Just like, embrace it. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, it became official. So like, the cool part was that okay. So I hated her at first, but then Dope. we became like really good friends. We were really good friends before that, mm -hmm. and so like for me, just getting in that relationship already, having that friendship mm -hmm. and whatnot, um, it really helped obviously because now. We have a baby and we're engaged. So. It's good to be like best friends with your soulmate. It is. You know? yeah. yeah, she's my best friend. I think being friends with your SO beforehand is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's not necessary. Yeah, I know. Of course it's not necessary. But it's nice. not. Not necessary. For, it's not necessary. No, 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 it definitely not, helps if you Baby, baby, if you're listening, too. it's not necessary. <laughs> if you hate yeah. them okay. first, hate right. them we first. We would have been friends. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's why me and Anita are friends. Shut up. Do you know, like, do you know about how all the girlfriends in my group mm -mm. are after my girlfriend? Like, all my 
female friends They're after are, her. Yes, they are trying to seduce her away from me. It's like a meme. There's like a running joke. Is this that like Yvonne a thing, and I or have. is it a conspiracy theory? I mean, it's like you just better treat it right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> from the fucking horse's she mouth. Got the gang on you. Yeah, You're like don't fuck it up. Uh, I just love being like, Anita, I got this for you. And then Peter's just there, like, and she's like, oh, it's this guy's like. Oh. They make me look like a bad boyfriend, and it's fucked up. Did um. Was Anita like in your your friend no. group before? Yeah. Or no. no. So you, so she came with you, and they were like, "She's better." Yes. Than you. Well, actually, me and Avon kind of met her around the same time. Yeah. I, would okay. say, I didn't like, get to really meet her though. Like, yeah. We went out one night. I mm -hmm. called them out. I was like, "Yo, come out. Let's just go clubbing or whatever." And then you know, I swear to God, people go to clubs to potentially meet people, but I swear mm -hmm. no one actually ever meets anyone good off of going to the club. Except no. for this guy. He got the one in the million, okay? He hit the jackpot meeting her at a club because, I mean, she just goes with her friends here and there, you know? It's not like, yeah. yeah. And and he, they just they just met that one night. How did you even hear her? Uh, she That's was, always my biggest We were issue. introduced from a mutual, fr a mutual friend. Okay, before so you went in easy. the club? Mm -hmm. Oh, was that? Before you went in the club? No, as when we were already in the club. Oh. Yeah, so like I... One of our friends uh, had a table in the club, oh, okay. and then we just like kind of gravitated towards the tables. Like, hey, what's up? And then um, I noticed her, but like I didn't introduce myself yet, just because like I didn't know who she was. And then like a mutual friend's like, "Oh, by the way, Peter, this is Anita. Anita disappeared." I was like, "Oh, hey!" And then like we just like kind of you know we just, it was good. Hit it off. Yeah, we hit yeah. it off. It they was hit good. it off so fast. They went on a date, and the next day they went on a date again, like the very next day. Back to back. Back I asked her back. to be my girlfriend uh, the night of the first date. Yeah. The night of the Wait, first the date. The first date. Yeah. Wait, but you already had. Well, I'll Wait, you. So the we next met day? at the club. We met at the club. Okay. And then we exchanged Instagram, whatever. Uh -huh. But the thing is, I was such a pussy, and I also didn't like know how to talk to women. So like, mm -hmm. I couldn't gauge whether she was actually interested in me or not, or whether she was just like being nice. Yeah. Um. Until like she responded to like I responded to her Instagram story. I was like, oh, that looks so good, and then she responded with. This could be us, but you plan. So I was like, okay, so she wants to. She yeah. okay, she wants to go on a date. I could. I'm. Oh, I'm dumb. She said. I'm dumb. Yeah. Oh so she was the God. one that she initiated. It Shout out to you. Me. Yeah. So I was hella dumb, but like I wasn't that dumb. I was like, okay, right. I should ask her on a date. And then we went on a date. Went really fucking well. Um, I asked her that night. I was just like, hey, I know this is crazy. This is like we're on date one, mm -hmm. but I feel like so good about this. Do you want to like kind of like. I would like to be like exclusive with you, and she's like, "Yeah, no, I, I 100% feel the same way." That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it went really fast, a little scary fast. Like, I was like, "Oh, am I, am I fucking this up? Am mm -hmm. I going too fast?" But you know, it's been good. I, like, we've been together for like over a year and a half, or, like almost a year and a half now. So, wait, it's only been a year and a half? Yeah, it feels like it's been longer, right? Dude, yeah, the it way you talked like about longer. it, it felt like it was like three, four years. No, or a year and a half. It was. Damn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Feels like it's been a long time. I know, it really does, but actually hasn't been that long. But I think our sense of time since COVID, it's like super oh, yeah. fucked up. Yeah, traveling a lot too mm -hmm. feels like a, a lot has happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember your Happy first ever date? My first ever date. Um, God, that's like fucking a billion years back. When was this, by the way? Uh. Okay, it's like. It's it's weird because when you're like younger, you're not really going on dates. People don't make it clear it's date. Like you're going to like something or whatever. Oh, I will say, I don't know if this is exclusive to men, but you need to make it clear that it's a date. I have made this mistake. <laughs> I have made this mistake. Mm -hmm. You gotta be like, hey, like, fucking, do you just say like, would you like to go on a date? Like, I would like if it were clear, like. From both the guy, from okay, from speaking wait, from wait, sorry, from both the guy and from, well, from either either or whatever it is, whoever's asking or to hang out or whatever it is, like just be like, by the way, this is a date or something, or like, is it okay if this is a date? something like that? Because I have been on accidental dates and I didn't know, and I would just like to know. I've taken people on accidental dates. Fuck you! You see, you're what, it's one hey, of those. You okay? Oh, no, you already no, no. know yours, the circ. You already valid, know though. the circumstances. No, no, no. That his, shit was his, fucked up. This right. is valid. Wait, what this happened? is valid. Okay, so I. Oh god! <laughs> oh, god I'm, I'm so ready. triggered. I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like there is this girl. 
We connected through Twitter DMs, and I thought she was really cool. Um, I don't want to get too much into details because I don't want to like. Wait a second before you go on. Is this the same story you told on We Three Thieves? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, sure. retell it again. Okay, I know what you're gonna it, say. Though. But yeah, there is this girl that I liked. I thought she was cool. Like I admired her work. Basically, um, we connected through uh, Twitter DMs. Um, we I just like asked her to like you know spend more time. Like hey, let's play games together. Let's play like TFT together. Let's I I like I was like hey we should play some like uh, or we should watch anime together we would be on Discord together watching like almost a full season of anime mm -hmm. we would be texting each other for hours every day and then finally I'm like hey you you want to grab like lunch in person sometime and she's like yeah I'm down grab lunch we you know just get to talking it's pleasant it's nice she asks me who my roommates are I tell them who I tell her who my roommates are I ask her oh who do you live with anyone she's like I live with my boyfriend and I'm just like. <laughs> I just feel like out of all those hours of you talking for so not long, not once. Not okay. So I didn't like stalk her social media, but I did like a little perusing to see like any mention or like of a boyfriend or anything, like like Instagram posts, like anything, nothing, no mentions whatsoever. And um, <laughs> fuck, I'm so I'm so pissed about this because like I, oh anyway, um, it's not about like. You're pissed about that. It's pissed about the time. Yeah, it's just like I'm, I'm pissed because I'm just like, like, oh god, I feel like there's so many, many opportunities to make it clear that like, this, like, you had a boyfriend or like something or like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't I know. I think if you talk for, if you talk that much, there is plenty of opportunity. And as a girl, like, you definitely know when a guy is kind of pursuing you. You have an, a rough idea, and anyone who does not feel that, they're fucking lying because I swear we all know. And by that time, if you have a boyfriend, like you should bring it up or slip it in at some point just to, you know, like just Dude, in case. I would drop little messages like, hey, like I really enjoy talking to you today. Uh, <laughs> hey, I really enjoy no, spending time with you today. It's so obvious. Like, it's how like, could you not tell me? Come you? on, man. I'm not that good at dating, but like I thought I made it pretty fucking clear yeah. with like without saying it. Did you, you know? use emojis? Yeah. Okay. No, wait. No, no emojis. Oh, okay. But I thought that was like more serious, you know. No, emojis are flirty. Emojis are flirty. They're, yeah, they're maybe flirty. that's where I fucked up. I Ending mean, no. The times, Peter. <laughs> she lived with her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I should have made it more clear. Ugh, <laughs> <Yeah, maybe that's... laughs> <laughs> fuck. There's like way more yeah. shit behind that, but I am not willing to disclose at this time. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, but, there was the uh, the other thing that we wanted to talk about the uh, not, uh, roommate X. Oh yeah, yeah. Roommate X. Mm -hmm. You got any roommate X? Yeah, a lot of roommates. Yeah, you have a lot of roommates. <sighs> the it's, not, it's your time is, to dish. I can't even, I'm trying to think mm. of something to even like say or be, but I can't even think of anything because everything's so like legit. Tina fucking organizes the pantry and like sets things up in like a efficient way for her, for her, um in the kitchen or wherever. Myung always like helps in every way. Same with Leslie. Like everyone's cleaning the dishes every fucking day. Our why are you is using so that tone? Clean. Cause it's weird. Like in um, no one has no no one yet has been so on top of it until like not even our last house. We have like pretty much exact same people almost, but like. No one is as top tier, tip toppity shape for the house as now. So these so are the like, best roommates you've ever had, really in nothing. terms of like the living situation. Um, I think in sort of like everyone actually cleaning every day. Yes, like, and that's honestly kind of insane. Like even I normally would not clean every day. Even so you're the worst roommate, basically. No, I'm also the same. Well, mm. I mean, they could probably say differently if they wanted to. But I feel like <laughs> we've all been like. I'm just trying to start some it. drama right now, man. Sorry. Yeah, all right, what what's about that? you? For me, Roommates. I live with Danny mm -hmm. Shifter. My only complaint is I don't see that guy enough. Yeah, he streams a lot. He that dude is a fucking streaming demon. All right. Yeah. That dude, at, I wake up to him streaming. I basically go to sleep to him streaming. Yeah. Like that guy is streaming all the time. I only ever catch him like when he's going into the kitchen to grab his food. Yeah, but That's you pretty tell much him it. He'll come. He'll come out. Oh yeah, he'll come out if you like, like ask him to hang out and stuff. But like, I also don't want to impose if mm -hmm. he's like on his grind. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. I think I'm the worst roommate for sure, because I. 
order way more shit than he does. So mm-hmm. we have more like recycling, like building up mm. by our front door because of me. To be fair though, I am the guy that like breaks down the boxes and then like hauls it out. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah, so. that's a whole thing. Like- He's a, yeah. <laughs> I'm the type of person that put the box on top of the actual recycling bin and then just wait. Bro, it's actually <laughs> such a pain in the ass though, because for not to sound like a major spoiled brat, because I am gonna, I'm about to. And some guy's gonna be like, "Wow, you're so fucking privileged." Yeah. Um, at my previous place, you sh- you were able to just like bring your unbroken down recycling into like a room, and they oh, would yeah. just haul it off yeah. for you. Yeah. In this place, you have to break it down yourself, and then you also have to bring it to the recycling room, which is like down like two halls, an elevator. Like it's not hard. It's just like it's just, added it's just like a little yeah. out of the way, yeah. a little more, a little more friction, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, that sounds like so fucking like I do, bro. That's that's my life. Like, what are you complaining about? But yeah, I mean, it, well, I mean, it's nice to be able to be lazy or like be have things easier on you. Yeah, when you're like used to like a certain level of yeah. convenience, and then that's like gone, then. It's you know it's just like annoying. It's like it's something I gripe about. It's not gonna yeah. be the end all fucking be all, but right. it yeah. is annoying. But uh, one thing I'm not looking forward to it, whenever I become a homeowner, if I do in this fucking economy, is the bugs. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, we have bugs at our house too. Yeah, I just I I just feel like that is kind of like a given. If you live in an apartment, it's very it's way less likely you'll have an yeah. insect issue. Mm-hmm. When you live in a house, you will for sure have an insect issue. That has been like the Especially biggest difference. California, yeah. yeah, like it's like the most I've ever like. In the summer, dude. The ants, man. The ants. But what's funny is you know how they have those door to door people who are like, like we'll spray your thing for whatever, and you're always like, ah, nah. And then literally the next day we get infested by ants. So I have a conspiracy. Yeah. That they're oh. dumping out the ants on the people who don't ask for it. Fucking big ant, big ant but infestation. They, you you bro. know they did, they did work, and it and it, and it worked because they were literally everywhere. It was, I it sucked, man. Especially as like a pet owner, because I would like there would be like dry kibble out that they didn't finish. Oh, you would ha- yeah. you couldn't, I couldn't put the bowls back down on the ground. I'd have yeah. to wait and then put them back up because the ants would just be all over them. <sighs> so annoying. I'm so triggered. Yeah, but I live in an apartment now, so like that's not really an issue mm-hmm. anymore. So. Yeah, I think apartments overall are just like way more convenient to live in. Just oh yeah, bar security, none. everything's yeah. great. I liked it. Yeah, but I, know. I mean, I guess we couldn't find any roommate eggs from from you. No, because uh, Normal we, we want to live a drama free life. But, yeah, pretty drama free. I mean, what's your what's your favorite thing about each of your roommates? Then go. A lot of the things that I just listed just now too. I mean, um. Let me think to pinpoint each person specifically. It's All right, not Leslie, boom. In general. Like, Leslie, I mean, I mean, you lived with Leslie. You know, she's, like, a uh, great conversation, very fun, and uh, very good about keeping general area clean as well. I would say everyone, literally everyone is for that uh, matter. Like, every, really good about keeping um, sharing space, mm-hmm. like, really clean. Boys are kind of gross. Yes and no. I've been with, like, I mean, it's, I've had both. Yeah. Yeah, I feel but actually nothing yeah, too bad. The, the worst roommate I've ever had was was a girl. But I'm not saying that they it was because they were a girl, but I will say like it is definitely oh, yeah. messiness is not definitely not like it's a It's not like a thing. Issue. It's not necessarily messy. Yeah. I don't think I've ever lived with someone that was so incredibly messy that it was disgusting. I lived like, with yeah. the spawn of Satan at one point. It was bad. <laughs> Just like oh, absolute disregard for basic roommate etiquette and just like Using your shit, leaving rotting food in said shit. Oh. No, I, do you know what the fucking worst shit ever is? Is like when you open your rice cooker and there's just moldy rice in there. Oh Ew. my god! I ain't gonna lie, I did I, that a couple times. Okay, but like, was but it I like didn't a care shared... about the rice cooker, and this was like years ago. Was yeah. it a shared space? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it your roommate's rice cooker? Was it Peter? No, it was mine. Okay. It was mine. It at was least, mine. And at least there's it. that. And he didn't use it. Ugh. It was just me. I just forgot, and then I. Kept forgetting and the fucking worst part though was like you would approach them and be like, Hey, like your rice is rotting in my rice cooker. It's like, oh, can you just like throw it out? Yeah. No. No, no, that's their response. Oh, that's their response. That's their response. Oh. They'd be like, Oh yeah, can you just like toss it? And I'm just like, like uh. And I'll be like, What? It's your rice. Like, oh, but you want to use it, right? And it's just like that is kind of backwards, but yeah. It's like, isn't it crazy? Because you thought that that's what I was saying to them. Yes. But I no, thought... their response was. Can you toss it out? Yeah. Like, and they're like treating me like I'm the fucking crazy one. 
And it's just like the typical shit, just like leaving unwashed dishes in the sink mm -hmm. and just like, and like, oh, oh I can't go. Uh, ugh, never mind. Sorry. That's it. I'm going to just stop right there. <laughs> Boom. Okay. You know, I'm not giving a time frame in which I had this roommate. Anyway. Oh, but I mean. Yeah. Um, someone can figure it out probably. Yeah, I mean, whereas I literally, Myung, Myung's always really good about being present in the house and like hang, like being available to like hang out or talk to like and uh, always putting in effort and like being there for uh, maintenance or like other people. Like, I don't know, just like really good roommate. Tina, also really good roommate. Just as a, everyone's a really good roommate. I don't know, I'm just listing qualities now, but of like she organizing, she likes to keep things in line, she takes out the trash. Um, I cook a lot and I just like clean the kitchen a lot. It's kind of like you're I'll like the mom. Whatever. Yeah, I you like doing that though. Um, but what do you cook? Yeah, uh, me and Leslie have been on our health grind, so we cook a lot of these uh, chicken wrap things that we make ourselves from Costco. So we just oh. buy like tortilla wraps and we buy like so the, like you meal kit a little bit. Yeah, but it's just it's like three four hundred calories per wrap, and it's so good and it fills us up because it has a good amount of protein and stuff too. So um it's yeah, been you drop me the recipe later yeah it's actually been easy easier to lose weight from that um mm. but yeah we've been cooking a lot of that so sometimes or i'll make steak and i'll like give the extras to people and stuff like that um or soup or whatever just leave it in the kitchen um and then ray just like always has uh ray is like a sound in the house that i enjoy having you can always hear her <laughs> at any anywhere in the house you will fucking hear her her you think her door is uh open no it's closed so it's like it's like white noise yeah it's like it's a comforting though yeah. i don't know why her, like it's like comforting because <laughs> i'm just like that's how she sounds <laughs> no that's how i sound but like oh, i'm trying to imitate it. her yelling so but it's me yelling so it's not exactly the same but like yeah um, my favorite was when um what was it like ray Pokey, Janet, and Celine were oh, living yeah, in the same house. house. Yeah, and I would like be in a call with Celine, and I could hear Ray screaming from like three rooms down. Yeah, through the Discord. And yeah. I was just, like, I can't even imagine how that must be in person. It's it's just it's just it is like a very um it like fills the house. You know. What I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I feel very at home. Yeah. Did you did it feel like more empty like when she was abroad? It was quieter, like actually quieter, <laughs> not in like a bad way, in like a, in like, a, like I want to hear that there's people in the house type of way. You, know? you got so. some like sick political level phrasing, man. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, wow. wow what? You're just you're really hammering a, on the point that she's dream. that fucking loud. In huh? like an endearing way. Yeah, that she's like fucking loud. <laughs> no, but I, I, I don't know. I think Ray's. Her energy, enthusiasm, is and yeah. energy is just like such a big part of her mm -hmm. that it just wouldn't be the same if she was like yeah. more tempered. You know, you know what I'm saying. And I think like, it's like uh, something that people love about her. Yeah, like her like demon energy, which I like. Also, it's like chaotic, like but yeah. funny, and like she'll also be very good about things too. So yeah, which is why when I first met her, I was so surprised at her height because I thought she was taller. I thought she was like. Like flame on, dude. In Discord, she has like five eight energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, she gives me like five six energy. And like even just like watching on stream alone, mm -hmm. like she looks like she has five eight energy. Yeah, she looks taller. And then I'm like, oh my god, she's the same height <laughs> as a boss. I hope That's she doesn't crazy. watch this or see this. Wait, so are you the are you guys the same height? I think she's like five three, maybe like an inch taller than me. I'm five two. Stop damn, looking at me. Damn, like you're that. short. <laughs> <laughs> you also seem taller than you actually are. Yeah, I mean, sometimes worth. I wear like heels or something, or like. No, uh, I don't think it's the boots. heels though. Like, I would also not guess by watching your stream. You're five too. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Nice. I mean, to be fair, like I also, you know, I take a lot of photos of Broden for some reason. Mm -hmm. So people think I'm like five ten, so or like what are five you actually? eight. I'm six one. You're six one. I'm six one. Like Wait, six that's two with shoes. Mm-hmm. Well, like when I first measured in high school, they oh. said I was like over six two, but then I started meeting people that said that they were six two, and I was like shorter than them. Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe I'm like six one then. So I just mm -hmm. been saying six one, and if people mm -hmm. say that I'm six two, it's like a, it's like a, it's, it's like, like a plus. nice, yeah, you know. Like I honestly should just start saying that I'm six, like six foot flat. Did you ever notice that like, like or feel like having height 
felt like an advantage. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. Like, I am someone who's like very insecure about his like, like physical appearance. Mm. But like the one thing I was like, I, the one thing I have is my height. Mm. Like I got my height. Mm -hmm. Like if I was shorter than I was, and like my fat, the fat on my body had to like fucking mm -hmm. propel itself into other areas on my shorter like body, I mm -hmm. would, I would look like Humpty Dumpty actually with my spindly arms and legs. And but my it's nice. Stocky I feel body. like I don't like it when someone almost feels too confident or like their height is like their personality. Oh, yeah. I don't think my height is my personality. It's not. I wouldn't I'm say saying, that. Like, my people. height is my personality on my dating profile. But um, <laughs> what the fuck? What, dude? My dating profile literally says LA six two. That's it. Boom. Hey, you made the cut though for all the the people that put like six feet at the, the, there for whatever reason. Like you know, you made it, bro. But I still get zero matches though on dating apps. I think I've gone on a total of like three dates. Which one? On which apps did you use? Fucking all of them, bitch. Like no. <laughs> Hinge, Coffee Meets Bagel, the Christian one, uh, a Christian. fucking Tinder. Uh -huh. My most, the most success I had was uh, Coffee Meets Bagel, though. What is, I've never, I don't know what it's like or like. What? I forgot how it works exactly. There's Their system one is different. that lets only girls message or that's something. Him. Oh, that's uh, oh, wait. Bumble. Bumble, Bumble. Yeah. Okay, and then what's, what, what's. Coffee, Coffee Meets, Meets Bagel, Bagel, I think, is like every day a guy will receive X amount of profiles to like mm -hmm. or dislike. Uh -huh. And then the girl will wake up with all the ones, all the guys that liked her. Like, you know how Tinder, it's like a mutual liking. Okay. Girls will only receive like. Pro profiles of guys that like them, I think. And how is it for guys? What do you mean? Like guys just see. So guys are given like a given, uh, oh. uh, just given a profile. Okay. Not necessarily of a girl that likes you. Uh huh. Just oh, a profile. They just yeah. and then they choose whether they, and they like her or not. And they choose whether they like them or not. Okay. And if they like them, then the girl will wake up the next day with like a stack of guys that like her. Mm -hmm. Which must be like mm. huge for the self esteem. Yeah. There, dude, every now and then, every month or so, I'll get, like, one girl. Because girls can choose to, like, actively like guys mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And, like, I would, like, find a girl that likes me first. I'll be like, oh, my fucking God. That made, <laughs> that made my day. My heart, like, <laughs> you like me? <laughs> did you ever like the ones that liked you? Like, no. Did you, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just, like, anyways. If I'm, if I'm being, like, completely honest, it's yeah. just, like, they're just not my type. Yeah. So, um. It was almost always like very people that are very outspokenly anime fans. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. you could tell mm -hmm. they like anime, you know? Like, I want you to like anime, but I don't want to be able to see that you like anime just by looking at you. <laughs> Is that <laughs> fucked up? No, yeah. It's like discriminatory. Yeah. yeah. But, like, yeah. like a closet, like you look like you could be closet weep or like low key. Yeah. yeah. You know, like when I look at Anita, I'm like, oh, I can't particularly tell she's a fucking. Yeah, weep. no, you can't. But like, there's some people I'm just like, you look your at car them has like, anime decals on it. Yeah, it? No, I think that's if, like, if your car has an, mm, yeah, mm. that's like because initially I would put my interest in like oh I was like I'm into video games and anime, but that attracted a certain audience that wasn't like particularly sociable. I will say like the people mm. that are sociable and already like I can't uh, that like anime and video games are mm. not using dating apps. I'm sorry, they're. Dating like a fucking esports pro. <laughs> what the okay. fuck? Sorry. <laughs> like the fucking. The I mean, I've had some of my esports friends or players or whatever like go on dating apps and they found someone fine. I mean, I don't know if that's someone fine, but they found that's someone. That's because they're esports pros. Uh, I'm I'm just saying, like, if there is a single girl mm -hmm. that is good at socializing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. likes anime and video games, mm -hmm. it's very likely they found their Discord boyfriend already okay <laughs> that's all i'm saying yeah they're not using the fucking apps mm -hmm. like damn the one thing i will say about dating apps is that it really improved my self-esteem in terms of like how to talk to people because like holy shit i thought i was awkward these people are even oh more awkward than me God. i didn't think that was possible it's not i i i would say like i for the brief amount of time that I have ever used it it is like the most boring conversations off like I don't even know if you can make like more template like boring conversations than talking to people on dating apps yeah dude I can't even imagine being a woman on a dating app must be so different because I'm assuming it's like there's way more demand or like way more uh supply of men I guess that are like matching with you, but like the quality of the men is like incredibly like below the bar of what you want, right? Everything just feels meh. 
if I had to describe yeah. it. Like, I would rather meet someone in person mm-hmm. uh, and be that much more uh, interested than almost anyone. on. I'm also someone who uh, it's really hard for me to like someone or be interested through just physical. Like, I have to meet them and have that interaction with mm-hmm. them. So even if I have ever used any data whatsoever, it just always like I'm sorry, I'm the person who like ghosts or does whatever because I <gasps> cannot you continue ghost? because Bro, uh, no man. I'm I'm canceling you. You got no more ghosting. Just be like, hey, I'm not interested. Do it. But you do that to everyone. Yeah, I think so. Well, unless they're fucking crazy. I have ghosted a few people. I have just like, only done that with one person as because I thought they were cool, like talking to them. And I was kind of like, eh, like, just wanted to let you know. But like literally everyone else just. I mean, gen- yeah. generally speaking, I have only ever ghosted one person and that was my ex because she was crazy. Mm. Like, I don't want to be that guy that says my, my ex is crazy because mm-hmm. that's usually a red flag on the guy. But like. She dumped me over text, and I was like, all right, for sure, you know? Like, that sucks, but I mean, what are you going to do, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like I have any, like, choice in this. If you want to dump me over text, then you're going to dump me over text. I can't really stop you from doing that. And then uh, she would still, like, actively text me, and I was like, hey, sorry. I'm like, oh, she actively texted me asking me to hang out, and I was like, Okay, that you is just, weird. I was like, what? You just yeah. broke up with me. I'm, like, sad. So I don't want to hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hope that is understandable. And she was like, oh, so you do hate me. He's like, no, I don't hate you. I just yeah. I need some space. And she's like, oh, I didn't know you were so sad about this. Let me treat you to boba tomorrow. And that that's, is so oh and that's, that's, when that's, that's when I ghosted no, her. That's when I ghosted her. And I think that's ghost. reasonable. And that's, that's a valid reasonable. ghost. I mean, like, I had... I had a similar, well, not, it wasn't that similar, but like I had a moment where I was like, oh man, I'm in control and whatnot. Cause I had an ex in high school Mm -hmm. that I caught cheating. And (laughs) then I think it was like, she was kind of playing it off a little bit. And then I said, oh, can we meet up? Like we need to talk about something. And then we went to like this park and we went on a bench and we were talking and she like was starting to cry. And then she said, well, it seemed like you were hanging out with this girl who was not. It was a friend, like one of many friends. And then I was just like, no, I think we need to break this off. And then I start walking away and I was like, man, this feels like the end of a movie. I'm walking off and she's like, when can I talk to you next? And I said, I turned, I said, maybe in another lifetime. <laughs> that was hella dramatic. Oh, oh, my, I was like, god. oh my god. Damn. And now you I were shooting you were so fucking cool. It was high yeah. school, bro. It was high school. Damn. Yeah. Everything does feel That's dramatic. like what high school guys in the shower would be like, fuck, I should have said that line. <laughs> I know. I should have said, in another lifetime. <laughs> Damn, Wex is, you're so cool, dude. Like the fucking power <laughs> goes out in your building to like, like fucking help out your romance and shit. You're like the actual protagonist romance, of this life. So it just yeah, happened, man. it's crazy. We watched movie. the fucking your Babadook life is a movie. and Your Elmo. life is a fucking movie, dude. <laughs> That's not like. Like I don't know how many people like had a movie like Ses- or Elmo g- goes to Grouchland, <laughs> like fucking Wingman you and shit. I but know. like you made it happen, dude. God. But yeah, no, seriously, no more ghosting. Fucking. Nut up and say, hey, man, I'm just not interested. I mean, some people are also just weird, so it's like, point. also, if they're ever like, hey, Yvonne, I'm a fan, I'm like, mm. oh, no. yeah, I mean, yeah. that, that when the content creation angle comes in, then it's kind of yeah, weird, yeah, but yeah. Um, I was thinking, like, if you, I, I think that if you are kind of, like, talking to someone and there's, like, a conversation Even going. Even if it's, like, three messages in. Oh, then maybe maybe not. I just not, feel like I if there feels like any amount of investment from either side, then like maybe just like a courtesy, hey, like I'm not really feeling this, but like good luck further. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not offended when other people ghost me if they do. It's just so tough now. I feel like everything has been used on dating apps, like in terms of how you say hi or yeah. come up with something witty. I feel like everything's been done. Yeah. Mm. So it's like. I'm bored. That's what I mean. Like, it's just, it's just, just don't use them or meet them yeah. present. Because I, when I think about it, it's like such a waste of time. I, I think I, when I think about if I have spent like ten minutes like doing this, like swiping or whatever, and I'm like, okay, I could have, I could have just like just done something with my time because like nothing came of it or like no. nothing. So it feels very uh, not productive, and it's not like you meet. 
okay, sorry. I personally do not feel like I would meet someone of quality that I would like on a dating app. And so I, do, or like, I could, but it's just like, am I Your mileage may vary. Okay, mm -hmm. listen, man. Am I going to swipe through, like, thousands of people to find the one person? Hey, man, if I, if someone told me, if you swipe through a thousand people, you will find the one, I will fucking, I would make my thumbs go raw. Yeah, but you yeah. might, the thing is, you might actually swipe past them because you're just true. going back up. Oh, shit, that's, that's why you one. that swipe it's back gone. feature, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, Montage. you know. That's true. I just think, like, um, what I at least just, uh, is just, hate, just work and, like, do shit with friends and then you'll eventually meet someone through, like, a friend or whatever it is or just through work or whatever it is and that will be Have a job. great. Yeah. That's it's fair. like, Set yourself up to like be successful to attract someone who is like also up. I think dating apps are very much. It's like a numbers game for sure. The longer you're on it, the more likely you'll be successful. Because it's just like you know there are new single people every day, oh, which yeah. is like depressing thought. But yeah, it's true. Yeah. And like I feel like you might find someone that's of quality, but they will not be around on the app for long. Like I feel like mm. decent people break up with people all the time, and they like install dating apps for fun, whatever. Yeah. And then they fuck around, and then they get off the app in a few days. But, like, what if you just happen to fucking be in that app in that window? Mm -hmm. You know? Well, a lot of my girlfriends I know who have been on the apps, they tend to pause it. Or they tend to just, like, be like, I'm done. Or, like, mm. though they might go in very, but they hate it. They all hate it. And just, like, but you know, these just sometimes it's just, like, nothing to do or you're lonely or whatever it is. It is, good, like, good people watching, too. Like, yeah. you just, like, see the fucking freaks go by, you know? <laughs> So, sorry. That's I, I watched, like, a <laughs> recent video of people, like, comparing their dating apps, and I thought it was so... One, they would... So, there's five guys. They were ranking their own profiles. Like, mm -hmm. they would all saw each other's profiles, and they're, like... Someone, someone was, like, I think I should be at number one. And his profile was... He was a grocery clerk, and he... Um, not that that's, like, anything, but it was just more, like, he was just so full of himself that I'm listing these things to like humble him. But he was a grocery clerk and his Instagram title was like Asian boy swagger or something. And I'm like, oh. bro, there's no shot you rank yourself number one. Cause there's these guys that are like really wholesome. Is he from the Bay Area? Does he have tattoos? Does he drink know. boba he as like tattoos. a personality trait? <laughs> <laughs> um, God. But it's like these the other people are great. They have like, you know, decent, they have good, good, careers and they have like nice things on the profile it's like oh i'm looking for someone like you know nice caring whatever the fuck and it's like you really put your profile above these people you are so ahead of yourself i feel like a confidence is good yes to a point in the like to when a it becomes point. arrogance yeah. yeah arrogance nope arrogance bad yeah yeah i i fuck i remember uh what was it, like sid sean and toast were doing a dating profile review mm -hmm. And some there was like this Asian guy sounding very similar to what you were saying. Yeah. And he was doing all these fuckboy poses <laughs> and then just had like the fucking most fuckboy responses to all the prompts and shit. No. And I was just like, oh, I fucking hate you. That Go play Valorant good. and find a girlfriend in like Unrated or some yeah. shit. God damn it. That is actually just like my turnoff. My biggest turnoff is if I ever feel like they're in any way kind of like a fuckboy. Like I was gonna say, oh, they play Valorant. I was like, no, honestly, also go. a red flag a little <laughs> bit. Even if you're like fuckboy esque, like uh, an example that I think of is in the clouds. There was like an artist. He was uh, singing and stuff, and I thought it was kind of cute when he was singing and everything. And then it, he took off his shirt, and then I don't know why that like. I think sometimes that's like a turn on for some people. I was completely turned off, and I was just like, nope. Keep the shirt on, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to see this. No. Yeah. But that's just that's just personally how I feel like when I see like stuff like that. Yeah. You know we don't go clubbing that often anymore together at least. Do you still go? No. I mean, that yes. Okay. Out. Sorry, I lied. Um <laughs> I we <laughs> I still go. I still go. How often? Um every either once no, not even actually. Once every two weeks, maybe, or once every three weeks, even. Only because I've been busy, though. If I had, like, absolutely nothing to do, I probably would go maybe, like, once every two weeks or, like, once a week, maybe, max now. But because there's been events and stuff, I don't care. Like, I just go if someone hits me up to go. Any worthwhile boys in the club? Honestly, no. I've yet to ever meet anyone or have... Uh, 
I've met like a sponsor at a club. <laughs> Damn. Like a sponsor, a guy came up to me like, oh, me and my wife love you and we want to like, um, actually, if you ever want to work with us at any point, like, can I send you a Yo, business email? I, that has been more successful than guys. I need to start going, going clubbing again. What the fuck yeah. is this? Sponsors. Um, when I think of guys, uh, not really. They, it's the same thing as dating at me. I just said no one of quality. Everyone's just like, I'm always just like, not about it yeah i don't know i genuinely think that if you go to clubs and just like talk to people for the sake of talking to people just like to have a good time like that is far more attractive than guys that are like seeking out like yeah. a mm -hmm. hookup something about it is just like just nice i think I guys who like stand by the dance floor yeah. and just watch oh yeah there's a lot of them who just like stand and like people watch and uh, uh but i i think the reason i or maybe i never i don't come across that as much because I'm also not seeking it out. I also avoid eye contact heavily because I think if you ever make eye contact with people, it just makes them feel like they can come over. And I'm like, no. Mm. And when I go clubbing, it is not to meet people at all. I'm literally there with like Andy Michelle or whoever to like with my friends. So hey, that's what I was doing. I almost feel like if anything, I'm closed off more. So like that's why maybe people like it's not like an approaching thing or whatever too. Do you still get approached though? <laughs> <laughs> like you have a fucking sign saying i'm not interested and you'll yeah. probably still get approached it's it's troll because I, well i mean like i get it it's an environment for a club people are going to be seeking that out but there are people that i talk to, i'm straight up like not flirting with you i talk to you normally like this and then it's like what makes you what makes gives you the confidence to carry on in this conversation just I, I mean, find I an exit like I feel like guys will just like read into anything. Oh, she's like play being kind of aloof right now and trying to act not interested. So no, I'm gonna try I'm a little being harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this shit like that. If you're just talking normally, they're like, oh, they're into me. Yeah, dude, yeah. she like breathed in my general direction. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's fucking into me, bro. Yeah. I just have bad luck with guys at clubs, I think. I, I don't know. I've had girls try to give me their number or like the Instagram oh, accounts, yeah. but, like, ju like just by being fucking normal mm. and just like, yeah. Because I like buy like, because like when I get drunk, I buy everyone drinks, like just random oh, strangers. Yeah. I'll be at the bar and like some. He has a bartender that he's friends with now. Oh, every he... bar I go to, I find this one bar, like one bartender yeah. that I'm like chummy Your with, guy. and yeah, yeah, I find my guy, and they, it's always good. Mm -hmm. You tip well, they'll take mm -hmm. care of you, they'll make you wait less. They'll yep. like it's good, it's fucking great, oh and uh, yeah. So it's just I don't know. I end up buying drinks a lot. And, yeah, and then I make a lot of friends. And mm -hmm. then, like, sometimes, like, I don't really give a fuck, like, who they are. Like, I buy drinks for guys and girls all the time. It doesn't really matter. It's just, like, I'm just trying to vibe and have a good time. Yeah. And have other people have I've a good time. I've seen this. Peter does not just buy. It's not like he buys drinks for girls. He's, like, he makes friends with everyone. And then he just buys them drinks. That's awesome. But that's, like, my biggest regret, though. Because I'll wake up the next day to some DMs from, from some dude I do not remember. He's, like, yo, dude, thank you for hooking up the drinks last night. Like, it was really cool. We should grab lunch sometimes. Like, Yo, man. Like, hey. <laughs> that was like a one night. No. That was like a last like, night. Like this is like my this is like my la my my night in Vegas kind of deal. Like yeah. I wanted to keep it in Vegas. You know, I wanted to keep it in terracotta. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm not about I'm not about to make any friends outside the club. You feel? Yeah. Like if I see you at the club again, I'll buy you drinks again. But like I don't really want to meet you. That's outside. always awkward if you actually follow up on that because yeah. they're like, oh, we're gonna go out tonight, and then you like go and hang out with them, and you're like, oh, you're not really okay. feeling it the I'm same way. Yeah. Fucking with them. Yeah. <laughs> Like the only people I, I I genuinely respond to are like I like some of the bartenders I follow mm. on, on Instagram. That's yeah. pretty much it. Oh. Because most of these guys are like that. Like bartending is like their side hustle. They're trying yeah. to like pursue acting or writing Other or things. something. Yeah. And like I'm like trying to encourage them and shit. Like who knows? Like what if like the guy that like I tipped really well becomes like the next big fucking Hollywood actor and then True. he remembers me. You know, I get and that. And then you yeah. play Valorant with them. And then yeah. Then you get yeah. Just having, we're just having to connect. Like, yeah. Especially yeah. if you're out of town, like yeah. Vegas mm -hmm. or whatever. You're but like, like, yo, we're coming back. I don't do any of that shit in the hopes of any of that happening, but it's just like, it's just fun. But that's good. Yeah. Because it's more yeah. likely to happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I'm saying like, these girls will hit me up like, hey, like, it's really nice meeting you. It's like, you probably go. Just like, for being normal. Just for being normal. Yeah. Like, like you can just make them the feel like safe low. and like un like not like a fucking piece of meat. The bar is really low. The bar is fucking <laughs> low, dude. Like I'm not even trying. Like I got like unintentional W Riz. So just uh, by being yeah, honestly, yeah. Like it's because of the like extra shitty people that also make that seem like oh my god, like mm -hmm. a decent human act is like this high, dude. Yeah, I will see these like fucking groups of like. Mid 30s, okay. I shouldn't say mid 30s because I'm almost <laughs> mid 30s, but like these definitely older Asian gentlemen 
right? That yeah. are like maybe pushing 40. And they just like want to go for these 20 year olds. Yeah, the they're club. going for these 20 year olds in the club. I'm like, bro, I know that's legal, but like that should not be legal. Yeah. Like, you should, there should get yeah. the fuck out of here. Or if they're touchy. I have had like oh. fairly older looking too, also. And it's like just they try to just get away with that I'm, shit. I'm on the way back from the bathroom. The guy fucking grabs me and like pulls me. He's like, hey, like let me introduce you. No. Like, what the they fuck? try to do the thing like the behind the back and then talk to you like that oh uh, yeah but yeah. some straight up has I hate grabbed when they my do that arm to me, man. That's um, the worst. there's a guy that straight up like came and he was like are you like what ethnicity are you and i'm kind of like uh, that's a weird that's first question. question i'm like i'm chinese he's like i'm korean and then it's like as oh if, it was a korean guy that <laughs> asked <laughs> he was like as what if the was, like, fuck it was i thought they were like, at least <laughs> white oh. <laughs> and then not only that i'm like he's and then i'm like okay and he leaves he comes back he pulls me and he kisses me on the cheek. I was there that night. You were there. Oh my god! My friend got like two of my friends found a bouncer, kicked him out because he just straight up. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Oh my fucking what? god! I remember that shit, dude. That's why me have bad men are luck disgusting. With the guys in the club. That's so messed up. Men are disgusting. Yeah. That's the footnote of this podcast: is men are fucking disgusting. Don't be a disgusting guy, please. Just be normal. Yeah, I don't know, I have this thing with guys mm -hmm. grabbing me. I've been in New York too, and like Blau was there, and he almost like fought someone. Yeah, I heard about that yeah. too. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Anyway, what a disgusting little end to our podcast here. <laughs> <laughs> nasty, nasty. <laughs> nasty, Yvonne. But Peter here is a decent human being. Yes. Hey, but I'm also decent. off the market, so fuck off. Right? <laughs> if you want to be a club buddy, then sure, we'll we'll hang out that one night. But yeah, like, but don't text him the don't next day. Don't push it. Don't push <laughs> it. All right. I'm kidding. That sounds like really dickish. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but seriously, don't message me the night after, okay? We had our one night. We had our one night. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But he's off the market. Uh, but I am also off the market. <laughs> yeah. I have way I have way too many dudes in my DMs saying that <laughs> I bought I was nice to them and bought them a drink. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> anyway, uh Yvonne, thank you so much for joining us yep. for another Thanks really for fun episode. Me. Uh sorry that we had to end it off on creepy club club dudes, but uh oh, no, it's it is what part it is. of the experience. Uh <laughs> do you have any projects, anything you want to promote? Maybe just like your your socials? Nothing. Just it's probably my socials if you guys want to follow. All right, it's Ivani. Yeah. Y v o n n i e. I'm pretty sure it'll be like in like mm -hmm. the the info or somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. We'll somewhere. find there. it in the descript. Yeah. But thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.